on, guys? ChaseChaseWins.com coming to you for Tuesday. It is the 25th of May, 2021. It's Tuesday morning. Happy start to a new week, guys. Sorry we were, we were not able to do a video for Monday, but a lot of big things took place on Monday. We finalized a couple of things that we can now bring to you and announce. Uh, first and foremost, before we get into that, get you on a recap for what we did do. I just want to let you know, thank you for stopping by and checking this video out. If you are new here and you have just, you know, this is your first video you've ever seen or you're just now starting to watch the videos, make sure you subscribe, guys. Subscribe, and when you do so, hit the notification bell. That way, every single time we put up a video, any type of video whatsoever, you are guaranteed to get a free play within that video, no matter what. It doesn't matter if we come on here to announce something, to promote something, or to just say, hey, there will be a free play somewhere in the midst of that video. Make sure you go to the description of this video below. Check out our social media links, um, our handles. That way you can follow us on social media where we also post updates, announcements, and additional free plays that don't come out on video. If you want to get even more free plays that you cannot get via basic YouTube videos or social media, click the join button of this channel. There's three different tiers of memberships. You can go anywhere from basic to VIP. VIP not only gets you things, gets you everything that the lower tier memberships get, but also things that only the VIP members can get. So make sure you do that. That way you can get access and winners that only get posted to those that are members of the YouTube channel. And then obviously, if you want to be able to take this seriously, if you want to actually invest on sports, turn a profit out of your passion of sports, build a secondary stream of income, have somebody that has the knowledge, the expertise, and the know-how to make you money, where all you have to do is wait on the information, do as we say, and watch the profit come in. Go to chasewins.com, click the purchase tab, pick out a package that best suits you to start. You can start something short term. We will make you enough profit to where your winnings will be able to scale you to a longer term investment and something that can be a true added revenue stream for you residually week after week, month after month, and on an annual basis. So thanks for stopping by, guys. Anyway, we're going to get a recap of what we did. I want to say congrats to all of our clients, long and short term, for yet another incredible week last week. Over the course of the seven-day span, we did phenomenal. Across the board, every single sport was profitable, as most weeks they always are. But last week, I mean, it was everything. Jerry in the West Coast office, soccer, profitable. PGA. PGA Championship, a four-day tournament that Jerry released. It was his very first public golf release, something that he's been working on releasing. Being able to bring to you guys for over a year now is finally here. The PGA Championship was first. He had a bunch of head-to-head -head matchups for the full four days. Again, profitable and a, and a profitable success overall for the tournament, winning the first day is the only one I don't remember, but I know that the final three days were all profitable individually as days, and then overall the tournament was a great success. NASCAR, again, another great success on Sunday, going 3-1 and one overall on head-to-heads with yet another top play winner and another outright race winner, this time on Chase Elliott at plus 450 odds to win the race, and he did so. The MLB King, that is me. All of you guys know what I do in Major League Baseball, how every capper in the business wishes they could do what I do, and they can't even come close. We had another incredible week. Every single day last week, other than one, we not only turned great profit, but there was only one day where we actually lost an MLB play at all. Going through the week, we were either sweeping the board altogether, or there were two days where we didn't sweep, but we also didn't lose a play, where we either went 1-0-1 with one win, no losses, and one push, or two wins, no losses, and one push. We had a three and uh, we had a three and O day, a two and O day, a one and O day. We had a five and O day that we brought you just a couple of videos ago. The week prior to that, we had a seven and O day. The day that we went five and O in Major League Baseball, we went nine and O overall through all sports. Guys, what more do you want? 
One of the things that we ran last week that we carried over into this week is we are upcoming. We are now embarking on our second year anniversary since the launch of ChaseWins.com. When we launched this site, we did some introductory promotional pricing for some of our most common and typical starter packages. Three-day, seven-day, 30-day all sports passes. Those include the normal sports, any secondary or more, I don't know how I want to word it, not your common sports, I guess you could say, things like golf, NASCAR, horse racing, things like that that are very specific kind of niche sports. Those obviously are not included because we have our own team and own cappers that do those. And you, you know, obviously they get paid based on those. So you're, you, you know, that is, that all goes to them. But all of your basics, your football, your basketball, your hockey, your soccer, your baseball, all of that, all the above is included. Three day passes cost $99. $199 for seven days, $399 for 30 days, and that includes all premium and daily top plays. But at the very beginning, it was half that price that we did for the first few months of the site. Well, we decided to bring that back last week. We brought it back on Friday, and we carried it over. It's now Tuesday. We're still running it, and we're either going to run it through Wednesday or maybe even Thursday. We haven't decided yet, but it's still there. So take advantage while you can if you are looking for something shorter term where you can pay half the price and you still get all the profit. Be on the lookout later this week. We are going to have at least two big game releases if everything goes the way that we're supposed to. So at least two games of the week, two separate sports. We're hoping that at least one of these games of the week ends up panning out the way that I want it to and allows it to actually be upgraded to the very first MLB game of the month of the 2021 season. So make sure that you stay tuned, you follow along, that way you'll be aware when we release that, you can jump on it. And it will be, if that happens, it'll be the biggest MLB release thus far of the season. MLB is just an absolute freight train of money every single day, like it is every single year. But right now we are on pace to potentially break, uh, you know, even break our records. We are crushing it every single day. And Monday was no different. So anyway, that's what you can get. Those are your specials. Obviously, the longer, you know, the um, the little bit longer term stuff, like 30 days, $2.99 gets you 30 days of all premium and daily top plays. You want 30 day all access that will also include NASCAR, golf, all of the specialty sports, as well as every game of the week, month, and year that were to be released in any sport during your 30 day membership. Those are usually $699 for a month. You can get it for $399 right. Why would you not do that? And then when the games of the week and month come out, instead of having to then buy a $50 play or $99 play, it's there. It's included. You have an all-access pass. There's nothing you would have to buy for that 30 days because you get access to absolutely anything and everything released on the site, no matter what it is. And then also, the other announcement is we do have the U.S. Open coming up in a couple of weeks. This week, later this week, there will be a pre-sale package that you can buy for that to be able to get it at a discounted rate. And then also the WNBA. That is another thing that Jerry and his team at the West Coast office have been working on since late last year. He's been building the remainder of his team, going through some of the algorithms and the the researching criteria that they want to go through to ensure that they are giving out the highest rate of winners possible like we do in any sport. And then anybody that he wanted to bring in on the side of WNBA to just further expand the knowledge, contracted, finalized, and got him hired, made him a part of the team, and ever in the ball started rolling in April. The season starts. This past Thursday was the very first release in the announcement of WNBA. Since that time, he has released three official plays. There's probably going to be a fourth uh, for tonight. I haven't spoken with him yet, but based on our conversation last night, he will probably have his fourth release of the season tonight. So far, three releases. He's 3-0. and He hasn't lost a single one, and they haven't even been close. They've been easy, take it to the bank, blowout winners. And they've been included in any 3-7, 30-day pass, whatever you want to buy. But then we also have been getting questions of, hey, I like to buy stuff by the season. Will there be a WNBA season pass? How much will it be and when can I buy it? Well, the answer to that question for the people that have asked is yes. You can now buy it as of now. It's now on the site, live and official. This is going to be something that usually is going to run $999 for the entire season from start, from the very opening day tip-offs, 
all the way through the WNBA Finals and the completion of the season. But right now, as not only an introductory price, but kind of a special to the launch of WNBA, you can buy it for $399. That's the entire season. Every premium play and every daily top play from now through the WNBA Finals, $399. It's on the website right now. You do not need a coupon code. You want to test it out before you do it? Jump on a three-day, seven-day, or 30-day pass. You'll get the WNBA plays that are released during that time frame. You'll see what we're about. Then you can go in, purchase it, because you will then know what you will be getting for that purchase. So anyway, let's do a recap of what we did on Monday. It was another great day. Not a high volume of plays, but we did release all four sports. Um, the NHL, the WNBA, the NBA, as well as, of course, Major League Baseball. All were released on Monday. One premium play each in every sport, and the only loss we took was in the NHL. We did take the Tampa Bay Lightning, so come on the money line at minus $1.15. And at the beginning of the game, they were playing their game. They were doing what they needed to do. They made a couple of poor decisions, which gave up a goal that shouldn't have happened. And then it was almost like they purposely slowed their tempo down. I don't agree with it because then they ended up overall getting crushed at the end. The score may, makes the game look a lot worse than it was. The game was closer than it was. There was late goals because they were frantically trying to come back and they weren't able to simultaneously you know, take care of things on the defensive end while trying to do more on the offensive end, which allowed their opponent to add more goals there late in the game. Either way, it was a loss. Low money line, only $1.15. But I feel like, and Mark, read between the lines of what I'm telling you, there's a reason that Tampa Bay was so willingly, they were willing to roll over in that game. And almost essentially, if anybody watched it, it looked as though they gave up. They gave up early in the second period. They never looked back, and it never bothered them. You didn't see any worry on the coach's face. You didn't see any worry on the part of the players and the leaders of the team that basically got destroyed by a much lesser team. And Tampa Bay knows that they are a team that not only could win the Stanley Cup for a second straight year, but should, if they do everything they could, if they play exactly their game, they should be in the Stanley Cup Finals playing a team, in my opinion, like Colorado. And then with the speed, the tempo, and the experience, when it comes to a best of seven, they're the one that should eke out the win. And they can get themselves a back-to-back -back Stanley Cup. And this time, they can do it in front of fans, which is a big, big deal. Um, but mark my words, their upcoming game, I think what you saw in last night's game, you're going to see the exact opposite of it. So pay attention to your lines. Don't go crazy with money lines, play in regulation if you need to. Maybe even lay the puck line. But I see Tampa Bay using last night. There was a methodical reason for it. And they're going to completely scorch the earth in their upcoming game. So remember who told you that. Remember looking ahead. I'm telling you that Tampa Bay is going to take care of business in a dominant fashion when they take the ice later this week for their next game. But anyway, that was the only loss we took of the day. It is what it is. It happens. So far, the NHL playoffs have been an absolute goldmine. We've only had a couple of losing plays. We have went out there and won the first four straight days, all premium plays. We have gone 100% on all top-rated plays that have been released during the playoffs. So, so far, not only was the regular season an amazing success, the playoffs have been even better. You want to get all of the premium and daily top plays for the NHL postseason all the way through the Stanley Cup Finals? You can do so for $199. It's on the website. You don't need a coupon code. But that was the only loss we took last night. Other than that, the, the release that Jerry and his team had out west in the WNBA for his third of the season was the Dallas Wings and the New York Liberty, over 168 points. Nice, easy winner there. Keeping it at 100% has not lost a WNBA release, period. So a 1-0 sweep there in the WNBA. Then we get into the NBA. My release, Miami Heat, Milwaukee Bucks, over 221 points. A very, very easy winner. With nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter, they were only 18 points shy of it. And the rate they were scoring, we knew we were going to cash it with at least five minutes left. It was an easy win. It was never in doubt. It was a blowout. And a nice, not just a profitable day in the NBA, another 1-0 sweep. 
Then we get into the Major, major League Baseball, the MLB King. One play and one play only, which is fairly rare for me. But when we do it, that means that we have zoned in on the one play of the day. And it was the Cleveland Indians versus the Detroit Tigers. The total was set at eight runs when we released the play. Some people got it at nine if they played it closer to game time because that's when they purchased the package. I even told the people that emailed me that said they got it at nine. I said, I'm okay with it. Play it at nine. Go for it. We just love the game even more because we got it at eight because of an early release. It was minus $1.35, and it was an easy blowout. It was never even in question. I mean, the game was over with multiple innings left for another 1-0 and sweep in Major League Baseball and another day where we go out there and have a perfect baseball day. That's what the MLB King does. So a 3-1 and one day overall on Monday. Congratulations. Great wins. Great profit. And we're getting ready to do it again for Tuesday. Tuesday's free play, we're going to go back to the NHL. Similar things happened in the Carolina Hurricanes last game is what we saw last night in the Tampa Bay game. Carolina tonight has a massive advantage at the position of a defenseman, a wing player, as well as goalie, where they switched up their goalie rotation, which a lot of people didn't understand. And, and again, on paper, it didn't make sense. So the last game they went in, and they're putting in the lesser of a goalie on less rest to play on the road against a team with their back against the wall, essentially. On paper, it didn't make a lot of sense, but in hindsight, looking back, it now looks like the smartest decision you could have made to basically go out there, give yourself the chance to lose, and they almost didn't lose it. I mean, the, you know, they had the game won, essentially. They made some poor defensive decisions. That goalie is what bit them late. They went into overtime. And, of course, when they went into overtime, there was a score. They lost a game that they very could have easily with just, the, you know, a slight different tap of the puck could have easily been a win for them versus a loss, even with the adjustment. But they took the loss. They know they could have, they know that it was possible to do so based on the change. But now you have a goalie with even more rest, a goalie that is not only a tier above, what his opponent's going to be. But now he's sitting on two extra days of rest than what he was planned on having. And you've got him back at home in front of a fairly large crowd against a team that's also trying to avenge a loss that should have been a win just the other night. This line opened up right around $1.70. It's creeped all the way up to $1.90. When I did this number, when I did these numbers this morning, before I got official confirmation on players, even then, when the line was at 170, I had it at minus 230. It's at 190 now with confirmation. If this line was 250, I wouldn't argue it. I would probably even agree with it and understand it. So at minus $1.90, we are getting a gift because that allows us to play this game in regulation. And in that regulation play, we are only having to lay $1.30, which is a gift. Some people say, well, why wouldn't you pay the puck line? Because right now the puck line is only going to give you plus $1.15. And in hockey, in playoff hockey at that, when you're going in and now you're on the third leg of travel in a best of seven series, that's when puck lines become more difficult and it becomes something that you really have to have a bigger financial reward to go out there and lay the points to do so where money lines and regulation plays become the investment focus because that's where you're going to be able to have your edge, your side where you can actually have a decisive reasoning and advantage in some sort. Puck lines can get everything convoluted. So right now, that's the only thing you can get for it in this scenario on the third leg of travel and the best of seven after a loss. The puck line would have to be giving me at least plus $1.40 for me to want to lay a puck, uh, you know, a goal and a half, even though I believe this is a game that Carolina will win by multiple goals. But we can get minus $1.30 just to play the money line in regulation. I think based on the changes that were made for last game, which sets them up for this game at home coming off of a loss. It's the perfect scenario for the Hurricanes, who I do believe are the fourth best team in all of hockey and the second best team in all of the you know all of Eastern hockey. 
and I've said that all season long. So now you can go back and look. I've been saying it. I think it not only sets up the perfect scenario, but to get it at $1.30, I think there's tremendous value there. And I think that th this it, right here is one of the best games on the board. We're taking the Carolina Hurricanes. We're going to take them in regulation, minus $1.30 on the money line. That is your free play for the day. That is on the premium card already released to the clients. Make sure you hop on that play. Go to the website, hit the purchase tab, jump on a play, follow our social media, get everything. Come join us in the winner's circle. You will not be disappointed. You will not find another service that can do what we do for you for the prices we do it for. I love you guys. For all of you that decide to join us, we'll see you in the winner's circle. Good luck.